Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, January the 5th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in, and let's get right to it. We've got a lot to talk about. There's a look at the SkyCam network from the Alpha SkyCam network at ABC 3340 for Trustville. Clouds moved in overnight, and that was good because it helped to keep temperatures up a little bit. And there's a look at Dauphin Island from the SkyCam down there, and certainly a cloudy morning even all the way across the state of Alabama. Surface low this morning was located in the vicinity of uh, Paducah, Kentucky, and uh, that will be traversing the Ohio River Valley and reaching western New York by uh, later tonight. In the meantime, across the upper atmosphere flow, we're seeing a very large long wave trough that is digging into the Mississippi River Valley and bringing the coldest air from, uh, for the 20 years for several decades into the eastern half of the country. Temperatures across all of North Dakota in the minus values, and you can see that uh, pinkish area with the minus values will be spreading down across the Chicago and down across the central part of the United States. In the meantime, though, we're also watching precipitation. We do expect some precipitation to break out across uh, central Alabama this afternoon, uh, maybe late morning and into the early afternoon before we see any significant uh, precipitation. And then uh, as that cold air arrives, the precipitation is likely to change over to a winter mix of uh, rain, uh, freezing rain and sleet, and then all snow eventually. Temperatures across central Alabama this morning are above freezing. Hallelujah for that, as uh, temperatures generally dancing around the 40-degree mark. You can see uh, Tuscaloosa, the warmest, at 43 degrees. Now, there's a look at the National Weather Service watch warning advisory map for the uh, U.S., but uh, just to make it a little easier, this includes all of the winter weather advisories across the country. <laughs> So just a large part of the country is really covered, and there's all kinds of advisories from snow to uh, blizzard conditions to wind chills to just about everything related to this uh, cold event. QPF-wise, uh, the precipitation today is probably not going to be that much in terms of uh, the overall uh, liquid equivalent on the order of probably about a half uh, quarter to a half inch or, or so. And then when we get into the snow, I'll be talking about that in just a minute. All right, here's the 06 EGFS model run. And interestingly enough, the models, the especially the European and the GFS, in relatively good agreement. The, you know, small timing differences, which we always pretty much see, but basically uh, in pretty good agreement. There is uh, our trough digging in. This is tonight at uh, 6 p.m., and there's a trough digging into the Mississippi River Valley. And uh, in addition to that, uh, we'll see the front uh, coming through the area. And this is at 6 p.m., so I think the front pretty much enters uh, northwest Alabama in the eh, 4 to 6, 5 to 7 time frame. And uh, as it does, of course, it will be ushering in cold air that will be advancing across the area by 12Z or 6 a.m. on Monday morning, you can see that the precipitation is out of the area. The 540 thickness line down to Montgomery and approaching uh, Mobile and New Orleans. So the air extremely cold and uh, the surface low is up around uh, northern New York and ex exiting the U.S. into southeastern Canada. And uh, by uh, Monday, too, we see that the deep trough, the uh, long wave trough position is over the Mississippi River Valley, so that's ushering in the cold air. All right, now let's take a look at some uh, model numbers. There's how cold it's going to be. This is the, the uh, plot of the, the, the top graph is heating degree days, and the bottom graph is uh, the green are lows and the blues are highs. And you can see that uh, it's going to be quite cold for Monday and Tuesday. Uh, with highs only reaching into the 20s. Uh, in some spots on Monday, may not get above 18 or 19 degrees for their highs. Snow is still a question. Uh, it seems that uh, the GFS and the NAM have uh, sort of backed off a little bit. They're not quite as bullish, but the European is still fairly bullish. Uh, not to a significant degree of accumulation, but certainly indicating that we could see uh, a dusting to a half inch over a uh, good portion of uh, the northern half of central Alabama and the Tennessee River Valley with uh, higher amounts up in Tennessee. 
And there's the GFS, and once again, the GFS is probably the least bullish uh, of all of them. Now, the temperature change is going to be very dramatic. Here's a look at the sounding, and this is the sounding at 6 p.m. this evening, Sunday evening. And uh, you can see that basically uh, the lower part of the atmosphere from 700 millibars down is above freezing. But that changes very rapidly. Here's the sounding as of uh, midnight. And uh, you can see that basically we're essentially below freezing with a little area that's slightly above freezing, uh, just above 850 millibars. And then by 6 a.m. on Monday morning, you can see how cold the atmosphere is with uh, just extreme, uh, you know, everything below zero uh, on the, all the way up in the atmosphere. So very, very cold. All right, getting back to the uh, 06 EGFS model run, and there's Tuesday, the trough, uh, the long wave trough over the eastern half of the country, but the bulk of the energy moving off of uh, the New England coast. And, of course, that shall take the, the front out into the Atlantic, and uh, surface high will drop in from the northwest, and that uh, will certainly keep us rather cold on Tuesday as well. The pattern flattens somewhat on Wednesday, but we do see a... a continual stream of these uh, short waves moving through the flow. And we see another one coming across uh, New Mexico on Wednesday. That one arrives in our vicinity on Thursday. So I think while Wednesday will be a good day, Thursday we're going to have to introduce once again a chance for some precipitation. Uh, probably the day starts out uh, uh, dry, but we'll see some rain by afternoon. And as I mentioned, the GFS and the European in relatively good agreement on uh, the timing of the next uh, weather system. Now, the, the, that short wave moves through quickly, but another one drops in to the eastern side of the Rockies. So it's just a continual train of these things. And uh, the GFS is suggesting that we could stay somewhat moist with the possibility of rain into Friday. And then that main trough comes by on Saturday. So that should clear us out of the rain. Uh, by Saturday, but on Sunday, the pattern is flattening once again, so we should be moderating a little bit, and we should see the high settle in, so Sunday, a uh, week from today, looks like it could be a dry day uh, with temperatures not too bad. Now, looking out into voodoo country, the, the cold pattern just looks like it's here to stay. Uh, the GFS is depicting that the long wave trough position will stay over the eastern half of the country. So this is the 14th of January, and that certainly maintains a chilly look. And then when we get out to the 20th of January, we still have a chilly look. Not as cold as the system we're experiencing right now and will Monday and Tuesday. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this Sunday morning. James Spann will be back with the next edition first thing on Monday. In the meantime... All I can say is stay warm and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.